He first comes in at a put together 207 pounds. You saw the Japanese characters shaved into the back of his head. That means defaults the fist. Baveras weighs 217 pounds, a 10 pound weight difference. And Boss Faveras, the Golden Glory Hunter, having defeated three of DeFaust's teammates, those three being Valentine Overeem, Paul Cahoon, and Fatih Kokamis. But now, DeFaust says the streak ends here tonight at Bushido. So we're going to see some explosive firework. Watch this. And again, it's going to be two five minute rounds, and this boat is underway to Smith right away, an overhand right. But it goes immediately to the clinch and knees nice by Faveras. Showing that Muay Thai background is Ronnie Faveras as they jockey for positions along the ropes. These two behemoths going at it early on here at Pride Bushido. Double underhook. Okay, no, Rodney is fighting for to get that underhook again. Okay, we got both single underhooks. And Faveras busy with the knees early and really showing his power here along the ropes, boss. A high knee right there. Uh, it looks like Rodney wants to take it to the ground. I don't know if he can do that. We will see in about, I guess, 20 seconds. <laughs> He's showing his power with those knees, going upstairs and downstairs to the body and to the legs of Faveras. Now it's DeFaust with that headlock as they continue to jockey with the underhooks. And looking for that full body lock, it looks like it's DeFaust. Ooh, and that left knee, that connected. And as everybody knows, that was to the body, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's where the liver is connected behind. There, behind. Okay, now we got a takedown. By Faveras into the half guard. Now, let's see what they're going to do. I think the rules are the same as in Pride. They're going to probably stop this and restart it in the center of the ring if they're going to be too close to the ropes. He continues to work the body. The rib cage does Faveras with that right hand and now with the left to the to the head. Rodney Faveras busy with the fists in the half guard of the Faust. Yep, uh, Khalid right now could try to turn him to the right, wrap that arm up and turn him to the right. Let him explode and move. Okay, this is stop, don't move. They're going to restart it in the center of the ring. As you said, as they do in the normal Pride series, this of course being the debut of Bushido here at the Saitama Super Arena in Japan. What? Okay, now if so what Rodney, is the strategy for defaults right now, boss? The, uh, the strategy is hopefully, hopefully, hoping that uh, Rod oh, there we go. He he's on the point, but now he starts raining in the right hand, but he's oh. five. Faveras has a big knee into the gut, and now they continue to. That was a Clinch. real big knee. <laughs> looking for the heel trip was Faveras as he goes now with the high right knee. And he falls looking to his corner for instructions. And again, they're along the ropes. Who is this advantageous to now as a jockey for position along the ropes, boss? I really don't know. There's He's going to take down again. But he falls. Khalid is right away trying to escape the situation, which is not working. Faveras could be going for a side choke right here. Yeah, no, he cannot because he doesn't have to like, he's trying to turn him, what Khalid is trying to do is try to turn him to the left and not to the right. He has to try to turn him to the left. Not now because his arm is posting out so he can't. But no, do not let him get up and get and create any distance because if you create distance you can create power with the fists. Of course, if Averis passes that half guard, of course, boss, and goes for the mount, he possesses all kinds of power. And now he's reining in those right hands. Will Faveras be able to continue to defend himself intelligently? It has been, or make that defaust, excuse me, Faveras yes. has dominated Khalid. this opening round. It's Halid Defaust who has been on the defensive. And it's been a frustrating opening round for the member of Golden Glory. Yes, it is. He um, he has two takedowns against him. He's got a few shots here. The shots don't look really to me like powerful knockout shots, but they're going to add up. And um, if one really oh, is going to get a nice that right hook. Shot. To the face. Yeah, Khalid has to do his something here. He has to try to reverse this situation. 
because this is not good. There was a real nice body shot here. Now Faveras, okay, now De Faust has him in the full guard. Stop, don't move. Stop, don't move. Back to the center of the ring, and they're going to restart it with Rodney Faveras, Faveras in the guard. The corner of uh, I was going to say, Favre. we have our own translator right here at ringside. Yeah. What are they shouting out to him about? He's sh they're shouting out what he's doing right now. He says, let go and start striking as hard as you can. Say one little, little minute left and keep, keep, uh, start punching. Now, now it's Favaris posturing and trying to still rain down. Now he's split the legs, trying to power out of that guard. Now they're still connected to the face with those shots. And while they're not power shots, boss, every strike is connecting and scoring. Yep, you're absolutely right. This round will go to Rodney if it keeps going like this. And it, it probably is because it's only 30 seconds left. But there's always round number two. And, it, and it, like Rocky said, I didn't hear any bell. And in pride, it's not how you start, but how you finish. It, the fight is scored as a complete fight, not round by round. Yep. And at being at the bottom, also, you can take a rest. You just blow the punches off. And uh, you, you, you don't get in that much trouble. And you're going to have a lot of stamina. Look at them. Both of them. They're running back to the corner. No fatigue whatsoever. But a round that definitely belongs to that man right there, Rodney, the... Golden Glory Hunter Faveras, and for Halid De Faust and your former coach Tor Hammers, what are they going to have to do during the break to change the tide in round number two? They're going to have to tell him that he has to go for strikes, and if he goes for a takedown, whatever happens, do not end on the bottom. You got to be on top. This is the round for him. He's got to stop if you want to make a stop to the to the whole thing. Oh, here we're going to have a replay. He wants to stop the Golden Glory strike from the Golden Glory Hunter. Whoa, and look at that body kick. That was good. Nice knee there to the body, and that was the liver knee. And that Beautiful. replay was the extent of DeFell's offense, as now we see Faveras hitting and striking, and look. Yes, he's, he's bobbing and weaving on the ground. Those fists really didn't connect, but he did connect with a lot of punches, though. We didn't see it in the replay here, but we saw it in the first round. There we go, red, white, and blue mouthpiece. And that's not America, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Dutch flag right there. He cannot go to the ground, second round. Second out, please, second out. The final round is underway and right away they come out fists of flying again to the ropes and now it's DeFaust turning it up a notch as they go for the body clinch again with the underhooks. He should have left knee, he should throw, should have thrown. No, he's now got he's got the, the takedown. Looking for side control now. Very good control. Nice knee to the head by DeFaust. Into a half guard butterfly guard. You gotta watch out, there's a triangle choke. for a triangle choke here. He's got to get out. He's got to get out. He's got side mount. Perfect. It already appears to me, even through round one, that these... Oh, dropping those hammer fists now is the first. It doesn't appear that these two are too comfortable with their submission spots. No, uh, but, you no, know, actually they are. I think, yeah, the first is more comfortable. He, he trades nice knee to the head, but he doesn't, he doesn't um, go for it. He doesn't... Um, he wants to knock out. He wants to knock out. He wants the end. This fight with a knockout, another submission. And that, I guess, goes back to the bad blood, so to speak, that's been brewing. Although, he's got again, no, he's got the double underhooks. I'm sorry. Keep going. He can't throw him right now. They got the full body lock, and that we could see a belly to belly souffle, but the break is called by the referee. There's a nice low kick there by Faveras. This is with the overhand right back to the clinch and a knee straight up the gut by Faveras. Yes, uh, Khalid shoot, uh, throw more knees. He's going to go single leg. And he's got it. He better keep it now. Get to the side mount. Uh, uh, Rodney's got the guillotine on, but it's nothing. He should knee him to the head now. Khalid should knee him to the head. We need a different camera angle. He's got to keep him on the ground. Faveras still has that arm, that left arm. Now he could be going for the guillotine here, but the arm is... 
No, he's oh, pumping out. And now he's going to strike. You watch. There he is. But the Faust, the fist, going to work on Ronnie Faveras. Turn about his fair play as we see a reversal of fortunes. Good control. Knee to the head. That's what they shout from the corner. But Rodney here is grabbing. He's going for a single leg. He should sprawl out. Khalid should sprawl out. He's doing exactly what he has to do. He should push his head, Rodney's head, underneath his own belly. That would be better. He's showing some good power there as he turns Faveras around. <laughs> yeah. As he bases out here now with this, looking for side. He should cross face him here now to break this. He should not do this. He should go for a cross face. You're in the rope. Almost out of the ring. This is a break. A lead to Faustin. It looks like uh, maybe busted up in the mouth is a lead to Faust. Here we go. Nope. There's a nice high kick by Default, and now they fix it up. Hands to feet. There's a jumping kick by Faveras. Has the ball. There's a takedown. Whoa. Now into the guard again. The corner of uh, Rodney is shouting, be aggressive. Get those points now. It's been a much closer round number two between Default and Faveras. There you see Paul Cahoon. It's uh, Stefan Leko. Stefan Leko, excuse me. Yep. He's got the body shots, he's counting, he keeps moving because he doesn't want the referee to stand the fight up. But yes, break, it's a good break. Because there was not a lot of power in the shots. And this, I think, is a cool break. And this is what, oh, he's got a yellow card. He's giving Galit a yellow card. Again, the nature of the Bushido rules, they are not going to stand for much passivity or stalling. They want action due to the fact that it's only two five-minute rounds. Khalid's got to do something now. He's got the yellow card. He really has got to go for it now. He's got to do everything in his power right now to finish this fight. Hammer he's got some mouth. No, he's in the... Left shots to the head. Right shots to the head. He's keeping going. He keeps going. He should keep going. Is it a case of too little, too late, boss? With the yellow card, with the way Faveras dominated round number one. I don't know, because it's what they said. Exactly. He's got to go for a rear naked choke. One minute. He's around it, but he doesn't have it underneath his jaw. It looks like he's going to have it, but he should try to change position now. He should go with his left hand. And there's the power again of Ronnie Faveras. He should drive it under now. Now he go for the joke. No, yes. He's got the hooks in as well, does the Faust. Yes, Khalid should go for it. I, if I would be Khalid, I would turn him over on his belly and start pounding again. He's got only a few seconds left. He's got to do that. 30 seconds. Final half minute of this battle between. This is what he should do. And He's start hitting. Back again. And he has to start hitting now. Hitting as hard as he can. And he's waiting in those lefts and rights now. And again, he's got him on his back. Those hammer fists, rights and lefts into the ropes. Full mount by Defoe. Seconds are ticking away. Will this be enough? Yes, and he finished the fight harder than he started. So even with the yellow card, this is the thing that's going to the judges. And we don't know now being with the scorecard, who, like you said before, it goes throughout the whole fight. He was finishing the strongest, so I'm really serious. Look at this. Total control at the end. At the last two minutes, totally for the Faust. A thrilling encounter of the striking kind here at Pride Bushido. Round one belonged to Rodney Faveras. Round number two was a mixed effort, but it definitely ended on a strong note by Khalid Di Faust almost ending it via submission with a rear naked choke. We're going to the judges' scorecards, and we await the official decision here in the Saitama Super Arena. Who do you think it'll be, boss? Ronnie Faveras or I don't know. I, I, it's going to be a split decision, or it's going to be a draw. Judge, <laughs> Trevor. Haritu. Judge Yes, Haritu. 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 Yes, Harit
He went in overtime. He, he turned it, it up a notch, up a notch. Perfect. Going for the submissions, going for the strikes. The last two minutes, he owned him. So that gave him the victory. And you see here, everybody, they like each other. Camaraderie all over the place. Stay the unanimous Mako. decision, Khalid DeFaust defeats Rodney Faveras. And on this evening, the hunter indeed became the hunted, Boss <laughs> Rutan. Yes. It's true, it's absolutely true. Look at that, that's the head caught. It's a special technique to catch the head in the rope. It's very difficult to, to, to place. <laughs> okay, mount position, let's, let's see this. Yeah, he's wailing around. Look at his hammer fist, following it up with hooks to the head. So there is jubilation. There is going to be plenty of celebration for Team Golden Glory. Fatih, the Turkish terror on the right-hand side, Khalid Korhammers, and next to Korhammers, we have Stefan Leko, the K1 superstar, right there. Of course, Rodney Faveras need not hang his head. A great effort on his part, but the streak is over. And there you see Rodney Faveras. There will be another day to fight for him.